Vice President Kamala Harris made history not only becoming the first woman, but the first black person and the first person of South Asian descent to become vice president. Just as Angela said, for women, this is a historic day. For black and brown women, this is a historic day. Kamala Harris, now the Vice President of the United States, and that is a barrier long fought for, a barrier not lost on one local law professor. No side of the aisle can dispute that history was made on January 20th, 2021. Stepping away from politics, at least in the moment, Vice President Kamala Harris isn't of a political party. She's a woman, Asian American, and black, the first of all three to be sworn in as vice president of the United States. I was thinking about myself when I was a little girl. I was thinking about my daughters, my nieces, uh, my students, and how representation really does matter. For April Dawson, it is the long-awaited proof of what she was always told. You grow up in this country and people say, you know, since you you know, can walk, you can do anything that you want to do. But when you don't see the actuality of that, uh, you don't quite believe it. But then, you know, to see Kamala Harris be sworn in, it was, um, it was surreal and it was heartwarming. Dawson is a law professor at North Carolina Central University, a graduate of another HBCU, Howard University, just as Vice President Harris is. Dawson, who served as a political analyst for CBS 17 throughout the election, says the importance of historically black colleges and universities was made even more clear as Harris took the oath of office. When you grow up in a society where you're the minority, when you're the other, to be in an educational space or just any space where you feel completely comfortable and celebrated in your own skin it is so self-affirming an affirmation perhaps for a wounded nation my hope is that in you know 50 years from now we'll look back and we'll be able to see uh, a consistent path towards our country becoming a, a better place a more righteous place and Professor Dawson also says the insurrection at the U.S. Capitol is now part of her class on constitutional law. Well, the newly sworn in vice president carried on the